Hello, I'm standing on the staircase of a Victorian tenement building in Clerkenwell in London's inner East End. These stairs are 140 years old and I've used this particular staircase in this particular block as the setting for not just one but actually two stories in my new book. The two stories take place a hundred years apart. One of them takes place in the early 1880s when actually these stairs were built and the other one takes place in the early 1980s at the height of the first wave of the British AIDS epidemic. And in both of those stories a man comes up the stairs and in very different ways enters through that door into a very difficult and strange and exciting life. Now when I was a young man there was a common phrase. People used to say, oh we don't mind what you do dear so long as you keep it behind closed doors and I think that idea of a closed door has had a really important influence on this new book of mine. It's not so much the idea of what are we allowed to do outside and what has to be kept secret and hidden away. It's really about what we allow ourselves to do, not what we sense other people are trying to stop us from doing. What are the things that we only dare to think when we're safely inside our own front door? In the two stories, what can only be dreamt of in the safety of your own apartment well, there are two very different things because the two stories take place in two very different times. But the essential fact remains, we all know there are some dreams you only allow yourself when you know the door is locked. If you want to find out what the two dreams in the two stories are, then, well, to get inside, I'm sorry, you'll have to buy the book.